Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Evan from Stupid Awesome Gaming, just chilling some more with The Last Stand Aftermath. So, in case you've never seen any of my streams for this game before, it's a roguelike. Excuse me. It's a roguelike where you get a different survivor every time, and you know you just try to you collect gas and resources to and also antivirals because you are also infected. So and see how far you can get. So I've already made it past the first section and I've discovered more interesting things. So yeah, without further ado, let's uh let's get started. Whoop. Drop my phone. Yeah, I'm a big fan of roguelikes, so I just like to just this is my more you know, chill moments. Okay, last time I died, so this time I have I don't remember what character I picked this time. Okay, he's got a pipe pistol and a sledge. Ooh, nice, but it's only got it's got limited uses. Now he's got some explosives. Nice. Alright, let's go over to the armory. Is there stuff that I can store? Let's let's take two batteries. And hmm. I'll take a wrench. Can always use that. Fifty shots. Okay, I got a decent amount of supplies. Um, let's let's see what I can get here. Bandage is always useful. Yeah, that's a that's a forty-five. I already have something that takes forty-five. Hmm. Mac ten drops. That would be nice. That means I could find it out in the world. MP five. Cash and medical items. You know what? Go big, go home. MP5, so I can find that out in the world. I already got enough of that. I'll take a bandage, and it should be good. Alright. Let's not forget the basics. Gotta inject myself. And. Let's get out of here. Neighborhood, the military went house to house, removing those that survived over the years. Survivors hold up in the shelves of these homes. Oh crap, I forgot to reload my guns. I just realized that. Yeah, that's the one thing I hate is that every survivor, like, none of them reload their guns. And you can't reload until you get out in the world, I think. So I always, I always pop my antiviral, like, right in the middle because, or right at the beginning, just so I don't forget. Because the antiviral is extremely important because the, you know, like, like as I explained earlier before, they, the, these people, volunteers are already infected. So basically they're like, okay, I'm going to make my last time as fruitful as possible and try to, you know, go out and into the world and scavenge supplies. Now that zombie over there, he's, he's, uh, got more infection than normal. While I'm under the effects of the antiviral, I autom like I don't take infection damage. And infection damage is basic basically permanent damage to your health bar, but has the infection runs through your veins, you get mutations that help. So right now I'm just looking for gas so I can keep going along this run. Also activate the survivor sense. Ooh. Oh wow, I can't believe I missed that. Yeah, this gives me extra supplies back at the, uh, back at base so I can, like, I can buy more permanent things, or permanent upgrades. Oh, I got a duck. It's too loud, just let me know and I'll turn it down. Ooh, cleaver, nice. Alright. Mm, 
I will actually save this. And I'll use the damaged cleaver and the wrench first. Alright, there's a fire over there which I can use to craft stuff. I was a huge fan of the Last Stand games, or Flash games, when I, uh... Okay. I was a huge fan of the Last Stand Flash games when I was a kid, so... This is the, maybe the same, the same exact guy, too, which I love, so... should be more careful with uh oh, crap. I should really be more careful with the noise, but I'm done hiding, I'm out of here. Jay, thanks for everything. I couldn't ask for a better friend, but I gotta do this on my own. Hey Ron, fuck clean off. Fight till the end. Gotta give him credit for that. Alright. Ooh, gas. Yeah, the survivor sense you can also use to like basically slow down time and like but like it, it's faster if it, you use it faster if uh if you're moving and if you start shooting oh a basement oh shit at least the reload is quick for us Infected blood samples. Infected blood samples are actually good because you can use them to craft uh, uh, an antiviral later. If you have enough of them, sometimes when you go, um, because the, there are injectors out in the world, and or not injectors, antivirals out in the world. I keep calling them injectors because it reminds me of that game uh, Days Gone. And in Days Gone, you get like their version of the CDC. In this game, it's her, but. They, like, you, you get something for stats. Not important. Anyway. But you get, uh, you can find antivirals out in the world. And, you know, they'll, they'll help you survive longer. But you can also, uh, at some camps, if you don't, like, let's just say you don't have a battery or something like that to get it, you can... You can power up, you can use the generator to power up a... Uh, what is it? A lab, so you can actually make your own antiviral from infected blood, uh, blood samples, which you get from like special infected. Okay, I'm not even gonna waste my time with you guys because I gotta run back and get gas. Because I've completed this uh, this tier before, I can use gas to skip areas now. So it's uh, nothing. You also gotta be careful of traps because motherfuckers plant traps, you know, 
for ways to get out of there away from the infected and shit like that. Yeah, infection damage is, is is permanent damage to my health bar. Whenever it takes up a certain section, you get a mutation. That can be advantageous, but it can also, you know, come with a downside, which is why I tend not to try to get infected as much as possible. Alright. Let's try to search the areas. I also gotta be careful of encumbrance as well because you can only carry so much stuff. So I, I try to be as selective as I can with what I grab. Right now it just seems like I'm grabbing everything at random, and that's partially true, but one thing you're always gonna need is melee weapons and ammo. If for nothing else is that you can actually sell you can actually sell uh, sell ammo and other anything you don't need to uh, there's actually a guy who runs a store. Ooh! Sawed off. Nice. Another gun. Always make sure your guns are loaded, because they never come loaded. Ooh, a good amount of fuel here. Damn. Not to mention I'm already taking infection damage as well, because the antiviral, like I said, it staves off the infection, and since your character already starts off as infected, you're constantly taking it over time. <laughs> Um, I'll go here because there's a Herc station. Probably, to be honest, I probably should have searched for more fuel so I could jump right to it, but it's fine. Checking my Twitter, I do that in between. I really should focus more on just talking. <laughs> Apologies. Oh crap, we got an infected. We got an infected. Oh crap. Yeah, they're also the big ones. There. there we go. Ooh, gas. Okay. Oh crap. Please tell me there's something left in this ambulance. Oh, thank God, bandage. Ooh, infected blood 
sample. Oh, sweet, there's like four bandages here. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I'm just sitting here for long periods of time, but... You know, I gotta, I gotta heal, and after, you know, what just happened, I would... After what just happened, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't blame me. Alright, let's repair the car really quickly while I have a second. But yeah, let my tale be a cautionary tale of, uh, don't just run with reckless abandon, or don't just use your guns with reckless abandon. Ooh, an injector. Oh, crap. search more, but I did not want to take the chance. I got an antiviral. I am good. <laughs> yeah, I'm only doing this for a couple hours just until I get a, uh, um, because I got a D&D &D game, but I was just like, eh, I might as well, because I, I love playing this roguelike just to do a couple runs. Let's see what we got. Alright, there we go. Oh, crap. Let's, uh, let's actively try to sneak around a little bit. Oh, and of course there's no. Ah, damn it, I don't have any shotgun shells. This is gonna be a little, this is gonna be a little interesting. Just to power up this station, I'm gonna need to start the generator. say so if you like roguelikes i mean you literally live die repeat that's kind of the thing if you were a huge fan of the last stand games growing up i highly recommend it as well just for the fact is that um having a sale not too long ago i don't um it's like 15 bucks right now so definitely worth the price something that's eating away at you constantly. 
So at the bottom of the screen, you might notice that oh, I have like an orange thing over a part of my health bar. This one is a zombie aesthetic, and basically the story of this is that your character is already infected, there is no cure. So, in this world, they have what's called volunteers, which are people that are infected, that are like, hey, my life is already screwed anyway, let me go out and help. So, they send them out, they give them an, one shot of antiviral, which will keep the infection at bay. And, and you just go out there and you try to survive and try to do like find supplies for other other volunteers as they're called and 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 like uh just go from town to town and basically discover everything it's a uh, reminiscent of the last of the if anybody remembers the last stand sequence or um flash games from the mid 2000s or if you played like armored games or something like that you probably should cross it developed by the same guy uh he uh he went on and got a bigger production team and made a bunch of other Last Stand games. There was Last Stand 1 and 2 that he made. Uh, it, it was just him making them, and then they had Last Stand uh, uh, Union City. There's a collection of the games. Um, they were on sale on Steam recently, but I don't think they are anymore because of uh, it was like it was close to Christmas. But at the bottom of the screen, you'll see uh, that I have my health bar, but you also see an orange section of my health bar. That is called, uh, that's my infection meter. That, that's my infection meter. Basically, uh, because I'm under the, I'm under the influence of the antiviral, I will not, like, I won't die. And infection damage is calculated differently. Once you lose a section of health to infection, it's gone for good, but you gain a mutagen, like, as a result. It's basically like the virus is mutated and you get to pick, like, an ability. And some of them come with downsides, like, uh, there's one that, I think it's called, like, Fruit or something like that, where you gain, uh, you can do more, uh, like, you can do more damage with melee weapons, but at the cost of your stamina. Alright, hang on. Ooh, bandages and medical supplies. This one also comes with encumbrance, too, so you really have to be careful. Ooh, M4A1. Need that. Oh, crap, I'm over encumbered. Okay. When, you, when I'm over encumbered, what will happen is is that uh, you can still move the same, but everything will cost more uh, stamina. For obvious reasons, because, you know, you're carrying more than, you know, you can carry. Also, crafting in this one. I haven't played a lot of roguelikes, but I don't think a lot of roguelikes have uh, crafting, or they have it in a minimal sense. At this point, I'm just looking for stuff to get rid of. Oh, well, no. oh wait a minute, no, I'm not going to use that. Okay. Just use this. Alright, let's see if there's any more. Also, always remember to, uh... Always remember to reload. Because <laughs> that, is, that is a problem that I keep forgetting, because your characters, some of them come with weapons and some of them don't. You also can't store anything. Oh, uh, sports shop, right? Oh, crap, my antiviral wore off. Now I can take infection damage. This is not good. Okay. Ooh, antiviral. Oh, wait a minute. There's two shots for antiviral? Okay. Oh, right there. Nice. You'll need, you'll need, yeah, you will not make it very long if you keep, have, if you, uh, don't have an antiviral. Because, okay. I gotta be honest with you, the infection benefits can be very good, but, I, they're, they're not worth the, they're not always worth the permanent health, the permanent health loss. And you basically just have to keep refueling this car so that, you know, you can keep, you know, keep on your travels. I, I enjoy it. I mean, I've, I think the only three roguelikes I've played in a while is, uh, is Hades and Dead Cells. So this was something different. Okay, more gas. 
Oh, another one that's really good if you ever get a chance to play, uh, uh, what is it? Is, uh, Void Bastards. That one's just hilarious, and it's cell, shell, uh, cell shaded. Yeah, I don't have any more batteries, so I can't power for that one, for that injector. I don't have another battery for that either. Yeah, it, it sucks because unlike my, I think it was like my second or third run, I got a bunch of batteries. <laughs> I got a bunch of batteries and I didn't understand like their significance. And then like there were, there were a couple runs where I got like no batteries and I'm like, oh fuck, this is becoming annoying. Because I couldn't, I, I like, I got, I got no, I got no, I got no batteries, so I didn't, I didn't get any, I couldn't get any injectors, or um, not injector, I couldn't get any antivirals. M16, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not taking them. I will take this night. I know a lot of you are probably thinking that, uh, why, like, I'm over encumbered. Why am I taking certain things? It's some of it's necessary, some of it isn't. I'm just gonna do one last sweep. Should be good. I hate leaving these supplies here, but there's nothing I can do about it. I don't have a battery. Okay, time to get out of here. Alright. Really, it costs two to. Looks like I'm headed there. But right now, uh, uh, I believe Last Stand Aftermath, at the time of this stream anyway, is 15 bucks. So I highly recommend getting it if you just want to kill time. <laughs> and they've made, they've been updated. I think it came out last year and they've been updating it as, well, yeah, it definitely came out last year. But, <laughs> but uh, they've been updating it gradually to make the game more interesting. Start scavenging. Uh, ooh, oh, now, oh, that's just insult to injury. Uh, oh, crap. I'm trying to use, as bad as it sounds, I'm trying to use melee combat more so I can uh, use this sledgehammer so I can clear some space. The sledgehammer is taking uh, ten points of, uh, or uh, ten things of inventory space because it's pretty fucking heavy. Oh crap! Nope. Oh wait a minute! I have the. Damn it! Uh, sorry, I've been. I'm, I play like I'm. I always play like I, I don't have an antiviral in my system at the moment, <laughs> which is usually a safe bet, as bad as it sounds, because you you don't always have one, but. It can get like, oh wait a minute, I have this. I can I can take more risks. Alright. Contaminated water, I'm just gonna leave that there. Um I am literally just going to just dispose of that because there's only one hit left. Jesus, I still have a lot of I still have a lot of weight. Let's take a look at my pockets. Okay, I got four shotgun shells, not bad. Clean water. Oh, I got like four clean water. Let's let's see what I can craft. And can bomb. Those are useful. Oh, and I just increased my weight. Well, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but a lot of people knew that already. I mean, my, my channel's called Stupidly Awesome Game, Gaming for a reason. <laughs> um, I like your following, Zoe Page. I believe that's how I said your name. If I butchered that, I apologize. Might as well take this. Screw it. Ooh. Battery, more supplies. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, do I s now? 
now here's the question. Do I save it for... Do I, do I get the supplies now or save it for a... Excuse me. Save it for a antiviral later on. Oh, damn, I'm not standing here. That's not good. Let me replace some of my stamina, my permanent stamina damage. Like I said, being encumbered is not fun. Oh, crap. And my antiviral's about to wear off. This is not a good, not a good time. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, uh, at Evelyn. Uh, well, I, pre I appreciate it. Thank you for all the help that you've been giving me, by the way. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <You're>, yeah. <laughs> I, I really appreciate it. Looks like I'm saving this... Looks like I'm saving this battery for, uh... Looks like I gotta get out of here because there's no gas anywhere and this is not good. Yeah, you can't go back, but I can go forward. Now, I don't have enough fuel, so I'll have to stop and get some, but. Yeah, I have a. a I appreciated uh, you being my editor and you offering your services. More than you'll know, because I'm in desperate straits for one. Um, oh, of course. Yeah, hang on. Oh, crap. Hang on one second. Uh, this game is called uh, Last Stand Aftermath. Oh, God. It's not exactly a scary guy. Uh, oh, damn it. Oh, crap. Thank God I found this gun. Otherwise, I would be. Last Stand Aftermath. It's a roguelike based on the Last Stand se uh, series, or the next, the next uh, stage in the Last Stand series, and the whole, yeah, like I've kind of explained it already, <laughs> as bad as it sounds. But basically, your character's infected, and you just gotta keep, uh, ooh, about half full, nice. You just gotta keep moving forward, trying to find uh, supplies for the encampment that you work for. Every time you die, you get a new volunteer, which is what they're called. Ooh, shotgun shells, nice. Oh. Screw you. Ah, damn. The character's exhausted. And he's taking permanent stamina damage. Kind of, but they're zombies. There we go. Alright, there we go. Ah, damn, I'm about to be infected. Or, when? My infection damage is going to is going to carry over. Which is not good. There we go. Time to get out of here. Herc blockade. Herc is basically their version of the CDC.
how do you revive yourself? Oh, uh, you don't. Uh, basically, what happens is is when it, when I die, I take the control of another volunteer or another or another character that has different a different loadout and stats. That's kind of what a, I mean. I don't know if you know what a rogue like is, but that's basically a par for the course with those kinds of things. Ooh, spooky. Increase in heart rate makes you feel more alive. Restores you to maximum health. Will not remove infection. Uh, horns. Strong, heavy, slow, reliable. And it is every one of those things. Oh, damn it. Ah, damn it. Now I'm gonna get more. Okay, stone skin. Resilience. you have to be very careful with those exploding ones because they can pretty much drop your max health down because of the action damage. I'm honestly trying not to use the gun as much just for the fact is I know what happens. Alright. I just love the fact that your characters just kick the generator to try to start it. Oh, that's for the injector, or the, not the injector, the, uh, the anti 
fire was. Side as they break. I, to be honest, I was kind of using it a lot so it would break, so it would clear some uh, space I had. Um, let's go with this. I'm just gonna run really quickly. You got any batteries over here? that to something. Five, five, six rounds. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not using that. Probably should because the ammo is so heavy, but... Ooh, a battery. And... There we go. Now I can't take any more infection damage from I could have sworn there was still that big hulking one around, so I should very much be- Oh, sweet, he's dead. Ooh, infected blood sample. Uh, so you may have just given me my best thing yet. This may seem stupid, but just follow me for a second. Uh, batteries can be used for, uh, like, opening these Herc stations and stuff like that. They can also be used for what I'm about to use it for now. Because I can make, um, with the infected blood samples, I can make another antiviral, which keeps me from getting infected. Because whenever you take infection damage, like I said, those power-ups I got came at the cost of health, which is what kind of sucks. Eh, no, it's fine. I'll just keep going. Because as like as you see like as I become you know more and more infected, my character looks a little more mutated. All right. All right. Here we go. So I just made a I made another uh, I made another uh, what is it, antiviral so then I could you know I didn't have to worry about getting infected anymore. About half full. Alright, not bad. Alright, alright, cool beans. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, more Herc, Herc orders. Chem light, another combat knife. 5.56, five, nice. Yeah, because once I die, I lose everything that I had on this character, so... This is becoming a decent run now, so... There we go. Oh, thank you for sharing my tweet. Uh, I, I, I really appreciate it. Ah, uh, log cabin. Hmm. A survivalist stream until they were overrun. It seems the infected are everywhere. So they do take five, five. This does take five, five, six. Oh, maybe I should have. Honestly, maybe I should have gotten rid of that then. All right. Yeah. 
catch it on that. I will... I will dispose of this because I really don't need it. And I'm not an over-encumbered anymore. Lovely. Oh. Good thing I remember to reload my fucking weapon. Oh, of course, there's a... There's a... There's a big fuck over there. Pop some painkillers. There's a big fuck over there. With a bunch of smaller fucks. It is, uh, it's not good. But, luckily I have something for that. There we go. There we go. And he is not dead. Oh, crap. for when I come across another thing, and he's dead. See? Win-win. I see this as an absolute win. Alright. Let's search in here, because there's a couple question marks that are here. Oh, crap. Painkillers heal over time. I can take another bandage while healing. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Oh, damn it, Jam. Yeah, it's got kind of a Gears of War reload system, which I like, but. Dead yet. And I still got and I still got one more ace up my sleeve. There we go. Stuff I'm picking up gives me knowledge, which I can use to trade at a trader. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trust me, I'll, I'll get away in a minute. I just, I literally just need gas. That's all I'm looking for. Yeah, I like the idea of having the oh shit button, but I need M4 A1 is better at uh, controlled, controlled fire.
Ooh. Convenience. Thank you. Okay, now all I literally need is a little bit more gas and I should be alright. The upside to it is I can't take any more virus damage thanks to the antiviral I have. But I can still take regular damage from it. Ah, I can't attach it to anything because I have an improvised pistol, not a regular one. Okay, canned fruit. Um, Alright. There we go. And some canned to get me to the next place. Detour an abandoned military base. Oh, lovely. This just screams safe. <laughs> ah, no, somebody was calling my girlfriend. She's in the bed behind me. I, I keep my phone on uh, silent when I'm streaming. It's Trinity. What have you got? Looks like a military base. Probably Herc. This is a good opportunity. We don't have any information about what happened out there. Get inside and see what you can find. What am I looking for? They kept records of logistics, troop movements, lots of shit. It might give us some idea of what's going in. What, what's out there. Seems risky. I mean, let's be real. You don't have much to lose. This could change things for us. We need to know what's out there. You're right, I'm out. Access the command building. Well, first, I'm gonna repair my car because Stupid, but it worked. Ow. 
for a second. Definitely gonna eat some canned uh, fruit because I need to repair the stamina, the permanent stamina damage I took. It'll give me a second to heal. Oh, sweet. I appreciate it. Uh, AK-47. I'll just take the combat knife. The AK-47 takes 762. It's not something I need at the moment. Or, I don't think I have a lot of it, so... Since I found out that this, uh, that, like, whenever I do that, it, it pauses, which is a little overpowered, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, well, they set off a trap. Over oh, ah. the hell off me. that I died, so... Ooh, 
just one here. <laughs> Ooh, attack blade. <laughs> All right. General Order 17, Herc Go 17. Action to carry out termination of remaining quarantine subjects here and after referred to as Operation Aftermath. Purpose, removal of compromised subjects and final extraction of homeland environmental risk control agents and operatives from the dead zone. Authority, extension of the Uniform Code of Military Justice, UCMJ, Title 17, U.S. Code Section 766-376, and the new United States Central Command. New nuisance comes general order dated 13 August 2014 oh, lovely hmm, nothing else in here Ooh, uh, F orders 02-07 FOB Vanguard from her command. One, order. Movement of supply order zero or number 066 to warehouse delta at grid B9-4-4 is to occur immediately following the order. Two, additional distributors and related equipment is to be returned to checkpoint Bradley. Three, troop movement all stationed troops of FOB Vanguard will then report to the secondary extraction point as outlined in previous orders. Four, references as per previous order. In order to complete objectives, troops are free to engage compromised subjects. Comms outage, radio tower repair, disruption to long range communication systems purpose. Notice to all operating forces in the region of disruption of communication systems due to storms in grid J7. Rest restoration of systems underway. Authority, extension of the Uniform Code Military Justice, UCMJ, Title 17, U.S. Code Section 766 376, and the United States Central Command. Okay. Trinity, do you copy? You made it. Barely. Uh, okay, so what'd you find? Order to kill compromised subjects. Yeah, we've seen those before. Seems like they gave up on testing and trying to figure out who was sick. Was there anything else? Mention of ra a radio tower. Hmm, okay. Sorry to jump the line here, Trinity. You said there's a radio tower? Yeah, not far from here. Trinity, this is our chance. If we can get access to that tower, there's no time to be chasing signals. We need supplies. If they're using a tower as a relay, there's a larger base out there somewhere. If we find the source, we'll discuss this later. Let me ask you something else. Mention of a warehouse. Okay, okay, that sounds promising. If they were setting up military camps, there would have been a supply chain. That warehouse should be the one. It's a logistics order. We need to find out what they were moving. Any amount of supply we can get is good at this point. Look into it. Okay, that's it. Okay, find that warehouse. We'll keep track of your location. Good luck, out. Okay. Time to get the hell out of here.
I'm saving. Yeah, I'm saving this tack blade for something else. person I could get down with this or at least like a, a little bit more closed in third person um I mean I've played I've played similar games to this but I mean later tonight what I might end up doing is I might end up streaming uh, uh, my rest of, uh, Jade Empire. Okay, let me just sneak on through. Right. to lose at this point. since it was a detour. <laughs> oh. Families held out here longer than most in the city. Time and affection reached them all. of some of these because I kind of need that I kind of don't need them hmm. uh, I'll keep the pipe pistol honestly I think most of it is coming from yeah I, I figured okay looks like I'm gonna have to do this uh, looks like I'm gonna have to start using some of these because they're becoming too much of a problem Frenzy. Ah, damn it. 
Oh, some gas. <laughs> and somehow that didn't, uh... Oh, another one. suppressor. some of this knowledge because all the knowledge is gone after I, uh, after I, uh, what is it, uh, after I die. Next step is over time it steals your nerve, nervous system against it somewhat. Oh, nice. There we go. That works. two grenades left, so, uh, probably should save more of those. I saw your message.
and I'm just waging my own last stand. Too bad. Gradually trying to get through. is remaining. Uh, what do you mean by that? Oh. Um, I, for this game, I have no idea. Uh, I'm almost done with... I am almost done with my, uh, Jade Empire playthrough, so there's that. But with this, I have no idea, because I've never played this game before, so. we identified earlier. So, might as well use the last of my grenade launcher. <laughs> eh, I 
figured it matched everything kind of nicely. I was just like, eh. I'm just killing zombies and just chatting away, so I figured I might as well just... I figured just make that the title of the stream. seen me earlier with it. Wow. Need to be a battery. Damn it. Oh. The only reason why I'm kind of being a little more out. Come in. This is base, we read you. You're not coming through clear. Slow down. The warehouse is on fire. Can't read you, say again. Warehouse on fire. God damn it. Put it out if you can. Look for a fire suppression system. Those big buildings usually have one. It might be in the maintenance room. It will need power. suppression system anywhere. Another pocket knife. Another rag. Ah, here we go. Okay, well I started the generator, so that should... Oh, yeah, I'm playing this on PC.
Um, this was a, I've, I've actually had a screen overlay for a while, I just never really used it because it would block out certain stuff, but I kind of got it so that it fits over a little bit better. Oh, okay, here's the fire suppression thing. All right. All right. Explore the warehouse. Boy, well, the infection almost kills me. Barely any in this can. It's not like I really need a lot of... It's not like I really need a lot of gas at the moment. Radio signal fading in and out base, I found something. Supplies? No, all burnt. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh fuck, that's disappointing. God damn it. Okay, what is it then? Canisters. Flesh. Yes, I'm on Discord, Kateman. How many? We don't know what it is. Amy thinks that this could be causing the new infections. Whoever lit that fire wanted it gone. Destroy it and get out of there, we can't risk it. I'm with you on that one. Find explosive charges first. Ooh, explosive wall charge. Nice. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Broken nerve. Uh, I'll just go broken nerve at the end. Nobody has explosive charges here. Not worried about Galva rounds. Oh, ooh. This will probably only delay it, but. It's a little stupid at this point, but. Ugh, man, this is too little. You know, this is a little late, but better late than never, I guess. I have a Discord. I, I do have a Discord, sorry. <laughs> Balancing a bunch of stuff here. Ah, ah I gotta skip for Discord. Um, uh, I'll send it to you on Twitter when I get a chance. After the stream. It's normally for like exclusive members or people that subscribe to me, but eh. You guys are kind of worth it, so. Please tell me this will have to be... Yes! Okay, explosive wall charges. I'm surprised it didn't, the fire didn't set these charges off. Get in the car and leave. Getting to the point where I have. Anything that's causing weight here? No, nothing. No, wait a minute. I'll just dispose of all of this contaminated water because I'm not going to use it. So 
well get rid of most of it because I'm probably not going to be alive long enough to get to a to get to a uh, thing anyway so there we go that's a little bit better <laughs> the little dot bot Yeah, to be honest, I'm getting tired of a lot of, like, the bots for stuff on, uh, fucking, uh, Twitter, to be honest, because it just gets exhausting. There we go. small stop off the highway though these were a place where the weary rested Gas station, a country gas station and rest stop. There's a good chance there'll be fuel here. Oh, nice. <laughs> this has frog jeans. <laughs> straight to the... I might as well just head straight to the... Maybe hang on. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hop in, hop in, hop in. Ah, oh, damn it. After being beaten by infected. In all fairness, I only had like one bar left. Okay. Okay. Edgar Foster, Raider loadout. Herbalist loadout. Brawler loadout. You know what? I'll go brawl a little bit this time. Cause I can get a gun I can get a gun from here, so. Alright, give me the death adder. Yes. Caliber revolver. Cache of M4A1 rifles. They already got a bandage, so I'm fine on that. And this setup could be found while scavenging.
ammo for this thing, so let's hope I find some 45 ammo. <laughs> Swing better, better. Yeah, 9mm rounds. Lovely. Might as well take my chances at the Herc station. Hopefully I, hopefully I can find something decent.
so angry if I didn't need 45. Might as well check the uh, perk station while I'm here. Sweet, I can go right to the military outpost, I forgot. I don't feel like I can just skip areas.
Well, the upside is I don't have to script the get down next time I have to go through somewhere. Damn it. This is kind of a throwaway run, but... a bad run. <laughs> Shotguns, I could. Yeah, I guess it's a good th thing I prepped for the future, then. Alright, everybody, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here for now, but if you like this video or these streams, please leave a like, subscribe, and as always, I am Evan from Stupidly Awesome Gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Got a lot of interesting projects in the works, so I'm ex I'll, I'll be excited to share with you. Alright, have a good, well, have a good day. <laughs> this time. <laughs>